the two seas. That's the meaning of the country Bahrain. Why does it mean two seas? Because it's found between two seas. Marhaba, I'm Maha. Today I'm going to teach you a new Arabic lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to pronounce the 22 Arab countries in Arabic. How we call these Arab countries in Arabic so you don't end up saying Iraq or something similar. Some of them are really, really mispronounced. So without further ado, let's begin with the lesson. The first country that I'm going to teach you how to say in Arabic is mine and it's Palestine. Palestine in Arabic we say Palestine. 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 Let's work on the pronunciation first. So it's Falas and then we have a Ta. It's a guttural ta, not Palestine. I'm saying Palestine. Ta ta ta. Some of you have heard Palestine pronounced Palestine. Both Palestine and Palestine are correct ways to describe the country Palestine. If you are a male that you are coming from Palestine, we call you Palestine. We add this e suffix towards the end of the majority of countries you will see next, and we add e if you're a female. So the nationality for a female coming from the country. Name, you add Iya. So Palestine becomes Palestinia. So if you're a male, you're Palestini. If you're a female, you're Palestinia. So that's our first country. Palestine in Arabic is Palestine. Second country is Lebanon. You probably have guessed it because it's very similar to the name you know, Lebanon. It's Lebanon in Arabic. Sometimes it can be also Lebanon, but that's in the dialect. So the modern standard Arabic way or the real name of the country is Lebanon. A person that comes from Lebanon is Lebanani. A female that comes from the country Lebanon is Lebanania. Very easy so far, right? Let's go to number three. Number three is not that easy. I'm going to teach you how to say Saudi Arabia in Arabic. Now it's a kingdom. And that's why we have two ways, the full description and just the way Saudi. So, Saudi Arabia or the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, we say Al-Mamlaka. Mamlaka, it means the kingdom and it comes from the word Malik. You've heard, you probably have heard, Malik means king. So, Mamlaka is the kingdom. How is this kingdom, Al-Mamlaka? It's an Arab Mamlaka and it's a Saudi Arab Mamlaka. So, Al-Mamlaka, the Arab, Al-Arabiya. Al-Mamlaka, Al-Arabiya. So how is this Arab Mamlaka, this Arab kingdom? Is it uh, Palestinian? Is it uh, Jordanian? Or is it Saudi? So we add the Saudi in a, in a, in a function of an adjective, like Al-Arabiya. So Al-Mamlaka, Al-Arabiya, Al-Saudiya. That's how we create kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Al-Mamlaka, Al-Arabiya As-Saudiya Note that you have to add the Al which is the article definite article the so the Arab the Saudi the Mamlaka the kingdom right Al-Mamlaka Al-Arabiya As-Saudiya People tend to simplify their lives if you simply say As-Saudiya hmm, that also means Al-Mamlaka Al-Arabiya As-Saudiya you don't have to repeat all these together but that's only for means of completion, I want also to show you how you create the whole, the full term. If you are a person that comes from Saudi Arabia and you are a male, you say Saudi, you are Saudi. And if you're a female that comes from Saudi Arabia, you are Saudiya, which is almost exactly like the name of the country. So the name of the country can function also as the nationality for females. This will happen in a couple of more countries that we'll see next, where the nationality itself is the same name of the country, mainly because they end with Iya. So let's find out next. The fourth country is Kuwait. Also Kuwait usually takes Al, which means the article, the Kuwait. But you remember, we put the Al, but it doesn't mean that we're saying the Kuwait. We're simply saying Kuwait by saying Al Kuwait. Kuwait, not Kuwait, Kuwait. So if you're a male and you come from Kuwait, you are Kuwaiti. If you're a female and you come from Kuwait, you are Kuwaitiya. The next country is one of my favorite Arab countries and it's Iraq. And we don't say Iraq, we don't say Iraq. We say Iraq. And we have to put the article Al and, and pronounce this Ain 
from the throat saying al iraq al iraq let's remove the al for a second just to make you uh, used or to teach you how to pronounce really iraq in arabic it's i that's letter ain. If you're still struggling with pronouncing the letter ain, I made a full lesson about it here. If you click here or I will also attach it or add it in the description box below. You can go and check and practice pronouncing the letter ain with me. Anyways, the letter ain is not a vowel, it's not e, it's not uh, it's just the uvula working. That's the place for articulation of the letter ain. It's where the, your uvula is and you're pushing air outside of your mouth. That's the letter a. Ah, you're 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 almost not pushing, but you're strengthening the flow of air. Ah, it's like you're choking yourself. <laughs> if you want the real description, how to pronounce the I, click on the letter of the I. Anyways, it's I, I, not E, I, Ra, K, not Iraq. It's Iraq. So we have also Q, a guttural cough at the ending. The Iraqi, al Iraqi dialect is one amongst my favorite Arab dialects uh, ever because they tend on pronouncing a lot of guttural sounds. They have also a lot of additional sounds like ch at the ending of some verbs. I love it. I really like my dream would be to be able to like learn. Well, I understand it because it's very similar to my Palestinian dialect or the Shami dialect in general, but there's some extra beauty in it. So I, I really wish to be able to fluently learn the Iraqi dialect. So let's go back to the country. The country is Iraq, Iraq. And Al is very necessary here. We're not saying the Iraq, we're just saying Iraq, but we are adding the Al. Al Iraq. If you're somebody that comes from Al Iraq, you are called Iraqi. Iraqi. And if you're a female coming from Al Iraq, you are called Iraqiya. The sixth country on the list is Syria. Oh, you probably have guessed it's not Syria, it's Syria. Very easy. Syria. Now, Syria is particular because the Alif. And the ending gets omitted, this a ah, surya, yeah, the ending gets removed when I want to create the nationality or the adjective. So a person that comes from Surya is not Surya, no, it's Suri. You cut the alif at the ending, like Surya, like Italia, like Faransa, all these countries that end with a long a, ah, the a ah gets removed in order to create the nationality. Suri and a female, Surya. Note that you might have also seen or heard about the country Syria pronounced or written Suriya, just like a feminine Syrian. That's also acceptable. But remember that the standard one or the real name of the country is Surya with a long A. The next country is Al Yaman. Al Yaman. You're noticing that some countries take the Al, the, and some other countries they don't have it necessarily. So it's not an obligation, but some countries they really are called um, the name of the country along with this article Al at the beginning. Like Al Yaman. Yaman is Yemen. Al Yaman. Somebody who comes from Al Yaman is called Yamani. And a female that comes from Al Yaman is called Yamaniya. Next country also needs the Al with it. It's a country Jordan. We say the Jordan Arabic. And the Jordan or Jordan Arabic is Al Urdun. <gasps> what? Shu Al Urdun. Yes, this country is called Al Urdun in Arabic. All Jordanians are called Urduni or Urduniya, male and female, because their country is called Al Urdun. It's not called Jordan, Jordan. No, no, it's called Al Urdun or simply Urdun. Add the Al, remember to add always the Al. So Urduni, you're a male, and you're a female, you're Urduniya, coming from Al Urdun. Number nine is a country that has two variations. We're talking about Emirates, so, or the United Arab Emirates. So we can say United Arab Emirates, I'll teach you that, because it's very interesting to say United, to teach you United and how to put the order, United Arab Emirates, or United Emirates Arab, or Arab Emirates United, so I will teach you how to do it, or simply Emirates. Now. Emirates in Arabic we say Imarat, Imarat, Imarat. Al Imarat, the Imarat, the adjective comes later. Al Imarat, Al Arabiya. How are these Emirates? They are Arab. So Al Imarat, Al Arabiya. Now I have a question for you, and especially for you, the advanced Arab speakers or Arabic learners. Why did we put Describing Al Imarat, which are many Imarat ending with at, um, why are we describing it with Al Arabiya, like one, 
and not al arabiyat hmm? this is a very interesting question grammar question and if you're advanced or even intermediate even if you take my beginner arabic course i teach you this okay so even if you're a beginner this is a very interesting question why are we saying al imarat al arabiya and not al imarat al arabiyat why aren't we describing a lot of emirates as one arab instead of a lot of arabs hmm? It's many Imarat, it's not one Imara. So this is a question to you, reply below. So I will see how good you are in Arabic. <laughs> so Al Imarat, Al Arabiya, how are these Arab Emirates? They are united. United in Arabic is Al Mutahida. Al Muta, double the ta, hi da. Again, why didn't we say Al Mutahidat? We're saying Imarat. Why Mutahidat not? No, no, no. There's a reason for that, and it's a pretty important Arabic language rule, grammar rule. Okay, so Al-Imarat, al arabiya al mutahida that's the United Arab Emirates. If you are just saying, if you want to simplify your lives, you can simply say Al-Imarat. Where are you from? Oh, Anna, from Al-Imarat. I'm from Emirat, Emirat Emirates. <laughs> or simply Anna Imarati. If I'm a female, Imaratiya. It's a long, very long nationality, but it works. Next, we have the country Jazair. Can you guess what is Jazair? Jazair is Algeria. Hmm? Jazair. Jazair sounds a lot like the plural of the word Jazira, which means an island. Jazair or Juzur are the islands. And there's a connection between the name of the country and the geography of the place. So Al Jazair is Algerian Arabic. It's a plural, by the way. It sounds like a plural name, but it's just simply the name of the country. Somebody who is coming from Algeria is called Jazairi, and a female that's coming from Algeria is called Jazairiya. Jazairi, Jazairiya. Number eleven is pretty interesting. Number eleven is Morocco. Morocco, bil Arabiya, we say Al Maghrib. Al Maghrib. Now, the word Maghrib, it has a connotation of West or Western. Why? Because it comes from the adjective or the noun Gharb. Gharb means West. Hmm? Gharbi means Western. And Maghrib comes from this meaning of being in the West, along with the meaning of sunset. Hmm? Why is it connected to sunset, Maghrib, and West? What is this nonsense you're talking about, Maha? Shuhada? No, I'm not talking nonsense because I'm trying to let you understand how the geography of the place, Maghrib, or even the area, it's not only the Morocco, it's also the whole area is called Maghrib. I don't know if you've heard about the Maghrib area. As the sun, where does the sun set? It sets in the West. And it sets in the Gharb. The three main letters of the word Maghrib, which are Gha, Ra, Ba, that mean West, or the one found in the West, or the one found in the sunset, which is the West. All right? I didn't explain it well. I didn't like this explanation, but I'm gonna keep it. Okay? So you like you, <laughs> you That's what you get. A person that comes from Maghrib is called Maghribi. And a female that comes from Maghrib is called Maghribiya. Remember, the country is Al Maghrib, the Morocco, but meaning Morocco. The next country is also found in the Maghrib area. It's the country Tunis. Tunis is pretty easy. It's exactly like you have been seeing it or using it. Tunis, a person that comes from Tunis is called Tunisi. And the female that comes from Tunis is called Tunisia. And by the way, Tunis is also the capital. Tunis al Asima is also called Tunis. Next country is a country Oman. Oman in Arabic, it's not O, it's O. It has the letter O, and the rest is the same. O man, O. Try to pronounce your Ra well. Now you can, you can pronounce it well. O, no O, O, O man. A person that comes from Oman is Omani, and a female that comes from Oman is Omania. Oman is, I heard. That is one of the most beautiful, geographically speaking, places in the world. Hopefully, inshallah, I'll be able to visit Oman in my lifetime. The next country is pretty interesting when it comes to grammar and to meaning behind the name of the country. The country I'm talking about is the country Bahrain, or how, as you might have heard it as Bahrain or Bahrain. I don't know if you, I'm sure you didn't pronounce it as Bahrain. It's not Bahrain, it's not Bahrain, it's Bahrain. There's a hat sound. If you're still struggling with pronouncing your hat, click here and this will lead you to the lesson of 
how you pronounce your ha. Anyways, it's just pushing air outside of your mouth. No vocal cords are vibrating. Ha, na, na, Bahrain. And it's Al Bahrain, usually with the Al. What is the meaning of Bahrain? It has meaning behind it. Bahrain comes from the word Bahr. Bahr means one sea. Bahr, the sea. And Bahrain, ending with Ain, this Ain is a suffix that indicates the dual in Arabic. Usually it's An, but in the dialect it's Ain. So when you add this Ain, it means you're talking about not one Bahr, you're talking about Bahrain, two Bahrs. So, what does it mean? It means the two seas. That's the meaning of the country Bahrain. Why does it mean the two seas? Because it's found between two seas. <gasps> person that comes from Bahrain is called Bahraini. And a female that comes from Bahrain is called Bahrainiya. Bahrain, Bahraini, Bahrainiya. The country is Al Bahrain. The next country is the country Djibouti. Djibouti is simply Djibouti in Arabic. A person that comes from Djibouti, I'm not sure if it's Djibouti and a female Djibouti. Yeah, probably it's like this. And Djibouti is an Arab speaking country. Hmm? Strange because I didn't know. I, like, I mean, of course, I, I, knew, I knew, but I didn't can, count it in my 22 Arab uh, uh, speaking countries. Now I know, and now you know. The next country, you will hate me for it because it's Egypt. And in Arabic, we don't say Egypt, we don't say Egypt, we don't say Egypt. No, no, no. We completely transform it into Misr. I am really sorry, but Egypt in Arabic is Misr. Misr. It's not sa sa sa, it's so so sa, so it's better, better pronounced as Misr. Mis, not Mis, Mis. I know you can feel or hear the difference a lot because it's in the middle of the word, but it's written with a sa. Misr. Somebody who's coming from Misr is called Misri, and a female that comes from Misr is called Misriya. Misr is Egypt. The, the Misri dialect, by the way, is also one of the mostly uh, spread or known uh, or famous. Arabic uh, dialects and we all all Arabs are able to imitate it or to understand it or to speak it you know why because most of our like the film or music industry in the Arab world are based or were in the past based in um, Egypt and Misr it's really one of the easiest uh, dialects to be imitated by all other Arabs the next country is a country that I didn't know of its existence sorry uh, in the English version of it but the name in Arabic I knew and I, I but I didn't know they were an Arab speaking country or an Arab uh, country at all uh, so the English I, I will check with you do you know do you happen to have heard about the country Comoros I didn't hear, hear about it with the name Comoros that's like the first time for me but it's it's one of the 22 Arab speaking countries or Arab countries in general and it's a small island in the Indian Ocean in Arabic I know the name and the name is pretty beautiful and magical and dreamy Juzer Juzer is a plural of Jazeera plural of island so it means the islands Al Qamar so Juzer Al Qamar Al Qamar means the moon, so islands of the moon. Juzur Al Qamar. That's the name of this um, this Arab country. It's <laughs> it's beautiful. So I checked about it and I learned about it and now I'm convinced. Yeah, and I'm I'm really curious to check uh, about the geography. How many people uh, do, do live there and do they really speak Arabic? And what is the dialect of, of the people living in Juzur Al Qamar in the island of uh, in the islands of moon? <laughs> I'm really interested and I will go after this video I'll go and check and yeah and I'm interested about the dialect you know I want to hear somebody from Juzur anybody from Juzur Al-Qamar by the way here <laughs> write it below so yeah a person from Juzur Al-Qamar it's very difficult to create the nationality out of it and create the adjective so you just simply say Ana Min I'm from Juzur Al-Qamar okay because so, it's um it's a compound noun and it's not uh, something that we can create an adjective out of we can't say Juzuri Qamari no no Ana Min I am from and then the name of the country which is Juzur Al-Qamar the next country is the country Libya Libya ends with this A, ah, like Syria, Italia, France. Remember what happens to this A ah when we want to describe somebody that comes from Libya? It gets removed. So Libi is the person that comes from Libya, and Libia is a female that comes from Libya. Libi and Libia coming from 
Libya. Next country is Mauritania. Very easy. I think you've been pronouncing it well because it's Mauritania or Mauritania, but in Arabic it's Mauritania. Mauritani and Mauritania are the people that come from Mauritania. The next country in the list is Qatar. It's not Qatar, it's Qatar. Both guttural sounds. Q and ta. Qatar. A person that comes from Qatar is Qatari and a female person that comes from Qatar is Qatariya. Next country is As-Sumal. As-Sumal, that's Somalia. Remember to add the Al at the beginning. Al-Sumal or As-Sumal. Somebody who comes from As-Sumal is called Somali. Somaliya, it's a female that comes from As-Sumal. The last country on the list is As-Sudan. Sudan. So as Sudan, Sudan is very easy. Just remember to add the al because we have the article included in the name of the country Sudan. As Sudan, somebody who comes from Sudan, Sudani. And if you are a female and you come from a Sudan, you're called Sudaniya. Sudani and Sudaniya are people coming from a Sudan. So these are the 22 Arab nations. If you are from one of these 22 Arab countries, please write it below. And I don't want also to forget to tell you that I opened memberships in my channel. Yay! There are going to be exclusive live streams only for you and member only section in the community uh, section. So yeah, if you want to learn more, there's a join button close to a subscribe button in my channel and the homepage. You click there and you can uh, learn all the rewards that you can get by becoming a member of this channel. So thank you so much again for the patience to stay <laughs> this long with me and I will see you in the following Arabic lesson with me Maha kiss you and Ma'asalama